Hello all, welcome back. So in our series of Cloud SQL, in last video, we discussed about a backup and restore feature of the Cloud SQL, where we took a backup of the Cloud SQL instance, then we manually deleted one database, and we tried to restore it using the backup, and we successfully restored our database and data. So now in this video, we are discussing about one more feature that is import and export feature, where we can take the backup using the SQL dump file, and we can export using the SQL dump file and we can also import the data so again we are going to replicate the same thing so first we will export the database okay and then we'll delete the database and we'll try to see if we can import using the SQL dump file so first this is our instance let me show you that in previous videos we created one a database app DB and in app DB we created one table that is users tables and this users tables we are having a 10 record so that is the dummy data we inserted and in this series we are playing with this table only okay so we are having the 10 records here so now what we'll do we'll just try to export this database using the export feature so i'll just export it so in export it will have a two options again sql dump file or csv i will use a sql if you want enter instance so no we already tested with the backup and restore where we could take the backup of entire instance now we have a customized requirement where we want to we want to take the backup of only one database so i will go here and i will select only uh, app db so i want to take a backup only of app db okay so it will use only the app db in export destination so we have to choose one storage bucket so we can choose any storage bucket here or I will create a new bucket and name I will give as just giving one prefix for tech capture TT mysql backup 001 okay so just the unique name I'm trying to use and I'm just creating the bucket and then I will choose this bucket for backup so backup file this name file will be created in my storage bucket okay so cloud sql export and then the dot sql i will export it so it will be a bit faster than a backup and restore operation so let's see how much time it will take so we have only a one table in database and that also having only 10 records so it should be completed yeah we can see it's completed within a few seconds so if I go to the operations so export took 10 seconds only and within the 10 second our export operation successful now again I will replicate the same issue I will delete the app DB database okay and I'll try to access the data now and it will throw error because our database is now deleted so if I try to execute now so unknown database app db here is an error let's check in cloud sql studio here also we'll see the error because our database is not present now and you can see unknown database app db so it means our database is deleted now we'll see if we can restore it from the storage bucket sql dump file which we exported now let's go back to, okay let me first open the storage bucket and show you that if we have the file there and also want to show that sql dump file nothing but the some seal, uh, sql statement sql queries to create the database create the table and then insert the data so it is just the sql queries which we exported so yeah so this is which is our table our uh, bucket name is yeah so this is our table name mysql backup c01 and within this we are having this file so i'll just try to show you this file so this is nothing but the sql statement and i'll just open this file in maybe a vs code or notepad plus plus yeah so this is nothing but the sql statement first it is creating the table then it in just inserting the records so this is like sql dump file mysql dump utility it uses at the backend 
and now I want to export it using this dump file so I do not have the AppDB database now present so I will try to import from the storage bucket so again it will ask me the path so we have the path here in this bucket we are having the SQL file select specified SQL file database this is already specified in a SQL file so you can see here create database app db so this is already specified in the sql file so i will choose this option another option we do not see because we are using the sql dump file and then import so let's see how much time it will take for importing and then we should see our data back in our database okay within again less than 10 seconds it imported the data let's see how much time it take 14 24 yeah 10 seconds only so let's go to the database and see if our database is available it is available let's try to execute the query now it should show the result and 10 records as it is yeah 10 records here and let's verify here as well this error also should be gone so earlier there was error fdb unknown database and now this should also show the result so now we used import and export feature to restore our database so this sometimes this can be used to migrate data from on premises to cloud sql as well how we can migrate data from on premises to cloud sql using import and export feature how we can import the data how we can export the data from on premises system and then import in cloud sql so that i already created one video i have i will put the link in the description and you can check that video as well how we can do the migration using import and export feature there is a separate dms service database migration service is there that also we'll see in our further video but this video our focus was on how to use the import and export feature so in in further video we will see the failover mechanism how failover works in the cloud sql instance so then we'll see you in our next video